Hi everybody, Renegade 68 here with some more. Let's play <laughs> Water. 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 No, that's not what the game is called, although there is a lot of water. With some more, let's play Ever 17, the Outer Infinity Blind last time. Takeshi and Shonen are the same person, except they're not, except when they are. <laughs> I find that really fun, honestly. But um that aside, so um Yes, our antagonist, Karabuki? Actually, Kaburaki, I believe, but whatever. Uh, also, Takeshi Yagami! I theorized about that, not entirely sure what that means yet, but whatever. Um, so yeah, welcome to the finale, question mark? I don't know how much is left. Today's the last day I have to record before I have to take like a week doing Christmas crap and not having time to record, so I hope today is the last day. I have like eight hours to record for. I hope I finish it in like eight hours. Um, but you know me, I'm pretty slow, right? So it might take four hours for other people, could take like nine for me, and then I'd be fucked. But, um, her school is on vacation, she had a ten day break, I've been trapped for so long, this tin can doing research, I'm jealous. That aside, when I told her that special permission had been granted for her to come down and see IVF, she sent me a happy reply saying she would. We've exchanged mail every once in a while, but I wonder how long it's been since we've actually seen each other. One day, or less than a few minutes, if you go by this Takeshi and this Coco. Well, this Coco is this Coco. Let's be happy if she hasn't forgotten what I look like. <laughs> Which meant that Coco had been to visit IBF once before May 1st. <laughs> yep. See your father, Takeshi. Postscript. It seems like. T.Y.'s daughter is working part-time here at Lemur. Wait. Wait, 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 She is? It seems like Takeshi Yagame, that's who we're talking about, right? His daughter is working part-time here at Lemur. I'm still not sure if I should tell him, or... Working part-time here? Coco? Part-time worker? Since when? That's new, um, unless they're talking about you somehow, which makes that even weirder if that's the case. Wait, unless, unless Takeshi Yagami is Yu's missing father. No, maybe? No. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then that would make Coco and Yu bro sisters brothers, and that'd be really weird, especially if they're brothers somehow. After that point, all the data was corrupted, making it impossible to check what else had been written. So, this is weird. I like weird. Yay! In the end, they found nothing. No way out, no means to communicate with above, and no survivors. Are they just gonna glance over the part where his name is Takeshi? What? They said his name is Takeshi! You can't just glance over that! What? And then his daughter's working here part-time? But, but that would, but, what? I don't even. After searching around, Takeshi, Kurabaki, and Sugumi all headed back to the examination room, completely ignoring the fact that they just saw a file talking about Takeshi Yagami. I mean, sure, there can be more than one person with one name, with, with the same name, but Takeshi would at least be like, huh, interesting, that's a weird coincidence, you know, instead of nothing. You, Jokyo wa? You, how are they doing? Looks like they're doing okay for now. For now. You look tired as she sat down and faced the pod's control panel. Her eyes were a bit red as if she'd been crying. Oh. Oh yeah, Takeshi, I checked the medical database in this terminal earlier, but... But what? What's the butt? Whose butt? My butt? Don't touch my butt. You pervert. Did you find something? Yeah. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense now, because um, I did... I, I remember finding that strange, because in the future timeline, they did, they, they did mention that Teeth Blue had been annihilated, but they only mentioned it once, and it was brief. So I, I thought, like, am I remembering wrong? But no, I wasn't remembering wrong, and I, that's really nice foreshadowing. Yep, yep. Hope for a small chance. Okay. 
えあそれってどういうことえー、っとそうねセムシェセムシェここ自身で私たちは彼女をポットに入れてそうだねそんなここは治らないの She might or she might not 治らないとは言ってないただ治るかどうヤンカーブーキー walked over to the pod where Coco was sleeping ここカコカコカコ He started to cry, latching onto the pond as though he were embracing it. あのポットがここをどれだけ助けてくれるかも未知数なの。Yep, we still know how much pods gonna have all of them. Blah 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 blah. 高圧酸素治療の他にもレーザーでの現金やら。Okay, nothing new, I don't think. ハイバネハイバネーション。Uh huh. なんだそれは。You. Suspension. Is that gonna be important at all? I don't know, maybe that's just a red herring, because so far that hasn't come into play, I don't think. The way they're talking about it, I feel like it has to come into play, the cryonic suspension. The reason I'm like, well, what's the point? I'm thinking, what's the point? Because they already have the cure virus, which makes it so you don't age. And the, from a plot perspective, like a plot device perspective, You'd use the cryogenic suspender in order to make someone not age, but you can already use the cure virus for that. So I'm just thinking to myself, well, what? Yeah. Yep. Right then. Beep! A sharp alarm sound on the control panel. Shock, the floor of them all turned. Yeah, okay, same shit. He dies. Sorry, Takeshi. Other Takeshi. If you are another Takeshi, other, other Takeshi. I'm going to pay careful attention to this because he might be talking about you. No, he can't be because he sees you right there. I think? I don't know. Because they said the daughter's working part time, but Coco's not working part time. Is she? No, I don't know. Daughter, take care of her. He looked as though he was smiling. And. He stopped breathing. Beep. Life readings, blah 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 blah. Okay, this is familiar. This is what happens when um, you go on the sore pathway, so they're kind of like intermingling them a little bit. So he actually still gets giggity with Sugumi, but doesn't get super giggity with Sugumi to the point where he has nothing to do with Sora, which is more accurate, but what else? Sora. Okay, so I was wondering if they do this, and yes, they do bring up that um, where Sora's location is in Himmel, so they're probably going to end up doing both at once. We'll see. If they can actually smart about it in this playthrough. Okay, so they bring up that uh, memory, that's it. To catch the, um, uh, tapped her, blah, 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 blah. The only thing that we and Sora here share is memory. Okay, so. Um, this makes me think that maybe, I was thinking that this Sora, the Sora we know in the future, was like reprogrammed by Kurabaki or something, but I don't think that's it. I think it's just that um, they never actually managed to get the data file to save uh, this version of Sora, so all her memories from the last seven days were erased, which means uh, future Sora doesn't realize that uh, we're basically doing the same shit again. She's not aware. Um, However, what might happen is that uh, if Takeshi somehow lives, um, because something else I thought of is it would be weird if, let's say, Kurabaki and Yubisei survive, and they're like, they're gonna make their mission to save Coco, because maybe that's a thing they have to do. Why would they not also try to save uh, Takeshi? Unless Takeshi's already alive, is my thinking. Um, so that, that's why, partially why I think Takeshi's still alive. And if he is still alive, maybe he actually did, does have that disc all along, ends up inserting into Sora near the end of the pathway, and it's like, hey, she gets her memories back, and everybody lives happily ever after. Maybe. Possibly? Oh, wait, 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 This is important. Um, okay, so Takeshi's like, huh? Takeshi stopped suddenly. He turned around and stared at us, but okay, go back a little further. Um, so Takeshi found out Sora's in email. Then Takeshi went to meet Sugumi. Sugumi was looking at uh, the gentle ripples in the pool, as if she had been drawn, as, as if she had drawn him there. Takeshi went to stand by Sugumi. Then Takeshi's like, 
uh? It's because she stopped suddenly, turned around, and stared at a spot on the wall. And Sukumi's like, Takeshi. Hmm? Takeshi? What's wrong? Sukumi noticed Takeshi. Following Takeshi's gaze, she turned her eyes to stare over at the same spot on the wall. There was nothing there. Wait, no, that's not true. Both of their lines of sight were pointed at me. The question is, where are you? What are you? Interesting. Takeshi and Sukumi were looking at me right then. That's freaky. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't know, I just... I feel like somebody was, you know, staring at me. Uh, this is new. So are we finally gonna get some insight into what the fuck I am? It's been made clear that my power is not the same as Coco's, right? No, it's not, I think. So... What is it? And what's Coco's even? I mean, I think I understand Coco's somewhat, but I don't know. Takeshi turned back and said this to Sugumi. Hmm? Sugumi tilted her head quizzically. And with her head turned to the side, she narrowed her eyes and searched Takushi searched Takushi's face. For what? Any uh, lies? Takeshi? Takeshi? Oh shit, your nose is bleeding! Oh, I see, this is what leads into- Okay, yeah, so that's how they put the two together. Because I remember that in, you know, in Tsugumi's timeline, they end- Tsugumi and Takeshi have a heart-to-heart, -heart, and then his nose starts bleeding, and Tsugumi brings him in. Um, but in Sora's timeline, he has the heart-to-heart -heart with you that he just finished having, and then his nose starts bleeding, and you brings him in, and he doesn't do both. That's not something that happens, so, yeah. Huh? Hmm. You've got a nosebleed. What? Yeah? The guess she hurriedly put his hand to his nose. His upper lip was wet with something. Are you okay? It's gonna be looked worriedly at the guess face. You're fine, I'm fine. Looking up and wiping under his nose, the guess she replied. I was thinking anything schedule. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> uh, look at the difference. Tsugumi's like, I don't care about that. She takes him seriously right away. Whereas with you, you's thinking, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Guess she spat out blood. Copious amounts of fresh blood poured from his nose and mouth. And simultaneously, his knees buckled. Uh, uh, What's wrong with me? Yeah, to catch up this blood, covered hands, blinked. Legs swayed unsteadily, color drained quickly from his face. What's this about? Blood is. Takeshi! 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 Yeah, I'm fine. 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 In the entrance, a single shadow jumped out. It was Yubise Harukana. Tsugumi! Kuranari! Sonen ga... Sonen ga taihen na no! Tsugumi Takeshi! Karabuki's in bad shape! After that, using the Lumurai, they found out that Takeshi, you, and the young Karabuki were all infected with Teeth Blue. Teeth Blau? Teeth Blow? Using the orange serum, the three of them were given shots. After that, their symptoms improved a bit, but the severity of the situation has still not changed. Okay, we're speeding through this now. What do you do about Coco? Takeshi asked this as he pressed down on the disinfectant stained gauze. She's still undergoing the oxygen treatment, so we can't open the pod. Yeah, she'll be okay in the pod. Uh, not that you're gonna have time, but okay. Yeah, you want to give her a shot as well? Ah, so that. Yeah, okay. Yachi's face was still pale. It was hard to believe that it had ever been the color of a living person. His pupils were cloudy, his eyelids swollen, and his sweat flowing freely down his face. His sweat. Wiping away sweat, Takeshi wondered about the room. Ampul, one hour. How long will the patient be able to recover? Yeah. How about you? Yep. You was sitting at the computer terminal, silently typing on the keyboard. You, you're doing what? Tell me what you're doing. 
Don't talk to me. I can't concentrate. Hey, hey. Alright, alright. Try my best. Someone's put a lock in the communications, yep. 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 So what you got, genius? Well, we don't have Mayo. Okay. Looking like the dead, they both smiled weakly at one another. Brownish blood stains were smeared in their mouths. Beautiful. Takeshi left you to go look at the monitor to uh, set it into the column. At the monitor, set into the column. Not to set it in. The monitor displayed the status of the capsule pods. How's Coco? Came up beside Takeshi. So you're stable. So. the information. Blah, 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 blah. Four more hours until she could come out. The pod was filled with high pressure oxygen. Till the time was over. Takeshi. Takeshi? She whispered to Takeshi softly. What? No, I don't, because you have the cure virus. Didn't we? Haven't we already been over this in this pathway? I don't even remember anymore. The th all this amalgamation of stuff. Anyways, don't you think it's strange that I don't need any serum? No, you mentioned it, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, because of the cure virus. Fine. That's a relief. Shouldn't you be aware of this? Is he not in this path? I don't know. Who knows? You don't think it's strange? I'm the only one who doesn't show any signs of the teeth blow virus. Isn't it odd? No, because of the cure virus. He knows about this already, doesn't he? I forget. How did he react in the other pathway? I think he was still in disbelief. Is that it? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, I mean... Because she smiled softly and continued. Say it yourself. Yeah. Functioning your immune system and uh, metabolic efficiency are remarkable, and your telomeres never stop generating. Exactly. Meaning... It's, well, you know... Yeah. I remember, yeah. She thought he should have been in disbelief, but he wasn't. He believed her. She looked down slightly and puffed out her cheeks. She raised her eyes. Tsugumi walked over to you and murmured, You... You, would you scan me? Oh, shit. Would you check me? Okay. I remember did she, she did end up getting scanned eventually. But I don't think it was because of uh, that. I think, I don't think she volunteered. I'm pretty sure it was you or someone like. I think it was someone like you who was like, "Hey, you should get checked too." I'm pretty sure. I believe it was definitely different than that. I think. Cure virus P carrier. These words appeared in the Lamar display soundlessly. I think it was different than that, but whatever. The screen showed that Tsukumi was a cure virus carrier. Tiflo virus was also in Tsukumi's body, as with the others. But her genetic makeup had been altered by cure. And because of the peculiar functioning of her immune system, antibodies had been generated, instantly driving out teeth glow. Cure. Skumi had gone beyond the normal human capacity. Capability. She had mentioned that she was special. Successful cases of genetic manipulation were probably exceedingly rare. Cure. Cure. Looking at the results from the LMRI scan, you nodded. So the cure virus really did exist. Do you know about it, you? I found it in Limer's database. And she told you about that in one pathway. About the cure virus. Oh shit. Before that, I heard about it once from a certain person. What person? A certain person? Someone called Shigezo Morino. That name is familiar. Why is it familiar? I don't remember, but I know I've heard that name somewhere in this game. He's a world-renowned uh, geneticist. G -g geneticist? G -g oh, she, he's the one. Oh, right. He's the one who helps you uh, clone yourself and make Aki. Ah, uh, Aki Kana, I believe. Yeah. He told me about it when I met him. 
この世界には少なくとも2つのキュレイがある。In this world, there are probably at least two or more types of the cure virus. So, so this must be one of them. So, 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 this must You knew. She did hush got the car. I already told Takeshi, but I also wanted you to know you. Kuchi de setsume suru yori. Kikai de shirabe de moratta hou ga. Hanashi ga hayai desho. Besides, it's easier to have the machine show you than to explain it myself, right? Yeah, she's being more open about it in this pathway for some reason, but I am certain that in the other pathway, she was not open about it. I'm pretty sure somebody else convinced her. It was either Takeshi or you or somebody. I'm pretty sure it was different. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure it was different. That's why you want me to scan you? So you? Yeah. Ma, more than more. I don't suppose. Wakatta tokoro de. Dou ni mo naranai nake. Anything changes now that you found out? She may laugh at herself derisively. Derisively? Tsugumi. Tsugumi. Hokashi ne, Takeshi. It's strange, Takeshi. Biting her lips, Tsugumi was trying her best to laugh. Hatashi no sonzai yori. But there's something even stranger than me. This machine to scan you will be able to figure out the cure virus immediately. Why do you think? This machine knew right away that I had the cure virus. Why do you think? Oh shit! Still, in the world, there are no signs of the cure virus being spread by humans. How can you know so easily? There have only been a few documented cases of cure in the whole world. Why do you think this computer could scan it so quickly? Dun dun dun! Catch these pupils dilated momentarily. He squinted and replied slowly. Narudo, so you koto ka. So that's it. Lipid hisayaku wa cure virus no sonzai wo arakajime shitte itan da. Lie, bitch! You already knew about the existence of the cure virus. Teeth brown to onaji yoni. Just like teeth blue. So you koto. Yeah. Jimmy turned up to face the ceiling and closed her eyes, saying. Dakara, atashi wa koko ni kita. Demiu ni IBF ni. That's why I came here, to Lima, to IBS. Okay, so are you gonna explain the Tanuki costume finally, maybe? I had to come here. Uh, why? I wanted them to know the true gravity of the seriousness of my existence was. I don't understand. But. I've come all the way and nobody's here. So you wanted to make some kind of challenge? I don't fully grasp that, but okay. So stupid. I'm so stupid. Her closed eyes, a single tear fell. You yeah, haven't explained the Nuki suit yet. That's what I'm the most curious about. That is the biggest mystery in the game that I want answered. Ellipses, ellipses. It suddenly became dark. From the dark, I could hear only voices. Ne, Takeshi. Hey, Takeshi. Nani mo kamo iya ni natte. Have you ever hated everything? Shinitai te omotta koto aru. And thought that you want to die? Uh, I haven't, Takeshi. Weigh in, Takeshi. Nai. Nope. I wondered to myself, where am I? Oh, I. Yes, I. Was I inside of someone? Oh yeah. <laughs> now, just now, you're wondering this. I couldn't see anything. Oh, that's a weird feeling for you, because you have infrared vision. All I could hear were voices coming from from somewhere. Passionate voices. An agonizing scream. Scream! We aren't gonna die. We're gonna make it out of here! Oh, interesting. Interesting. From her closed eyes, a single tear fell. It suddenly became dark. Could hear only voices. Interesting. Couldn't see anything. You could only hear the voices. From Takeshi's point of view, we could see what was going on. It was um. It was all red. Things were going crazy. But for some reason, the eyes are closed. Somebody maybe closed their eyes, and that's why I can't see. But who? Hmm.
Don't even have time to waste here. But no, because they looked at me inside the wall earlier? I'm very confused about this. Anyways, we don't have time to waste here. I'm gonna get out of this hell. I can save you. I'll prove it. Everyone, I'm gonna save everyone who's here. Won't let a single one die. Was his speech this epic in the other version? Well, in the other version, I had to do it myself, so it probably wasn't as epic. The voice cut out suddenly. And the darkness cleared like a fog. My vision returned gradually. Oh, really? The scene spread out gradually before me. But I had still lost my center. Other than a sense of impending disaster, and the stagnant, heavily... He heavily air around me? That's a phrase. I could feel nothing else. Look. Stare intently. Why do you even bother looking? was a doubt that crept through my mind, but it faded quickly. All I could do was to watch the events in this world as they passed by. I watched. I was an existence that could only watch, as far as you know. There's gotta be more to it, because if you're somehow gonna save Coco, then you gotta be able to do more than watch, I'm pretty sure. All I was, was a perspective. It's time for desperate measures. I guess she said this suddenly. His eyes shone with a dull light. It seemed that the serum was losing its effect, although Takeshi, you, and the young Kurobaki seemed to be maintaining their composure. Their breathing was ragged. I'm not a doctor, so I can't really tell, but... Smallpox, penicillin, snake anti-venom? You're pretty smart, this should make sense to you, right? No! No way! It's our only chance. Your body is creating antibodies to the teeth blow virus. We'll use that. If we can get those antibodies, there's a small chance we can fight off the teeth blow. It's too dangerous. Do you have any idea how hard it is to make antibodies and vaccines that work? It doesn't matter because this is a shounen thing. Sort of. Oh, he's not shounen anymore though, he's Kurabaki. Oh. There's almost no chance. I like those odds. If you make even the slightest mistake, you kill all of you. Haven't you seen TV tropes? Everybody knows that anytime it's like the odds are a million to one, or there's almost no chance of survival, or blah blah blah, that's when you have the best chance of it actually working. It's when they say something like, oh, the odds are about 50 50. Then you might have to worry a bit. We don't do anything, we're dead anyway! Sumi's expression froze. Ellipses. Ellipses. You and the young Kurabaki raise their heads to look at Takeshi. That's right. If we don't do anything, we're dead. And if that's the case, it's better that we take this risk, no matter how small our chance of survival. <coughs> Fresh blood flew from Takeshi's mouth. A crimson mist danced in the air and floated away. Damn, not again! Can't believe how lame this is! Because he hurriedly wiped his mouth. What, you aren't gonna laugh at me, Sukumi, for being such a dork? Uh, I like this past Takeshi. He's way cooler than the future Takeshi who's like, who's like totally the Yosuke. Gosh! Ellipses. Ellipses. Ellipses! Ellipses! Come on, laugh, Sugumi. Takeshi held his blood-covered hand towards Sugumi. Stop it, stay away from me. Stop, I don't want to. Shaking her head fiercely, Sugumi backed away. Takeshi. Listen, Takeshi, Sugumi. You opened her mouth to talk from where she was seated at the terminal. 
There's a simple lab in the back of the examination room. Yep, and there's the machine for uh, finding serum. Thanks, Traction, go! Yep, so you continue to talk in a low-com voice. Please help us. Your only hope. Yes, she had backed her up all the way to the bed. Giggity. You want to live with this disease? Once you've got the cure virus, you can't go back. Do you have any idea what you're in for? You don't know if the cure virus will infect everyone. Even you, you said you were special, right? Please. I'm begging you. Let me take a gamble so everyone can live! You don't be an old person anymore? Well, that's better than, you know, being a dead person. I don't want everyone to live with the pain that I have! Well, it's their choice. Ah, I know that. <laughs> Backa, backa, backa! You know I can't fight you. Oh! It's gonna be ran to Takeshi's arms. She nestled up close and began to cry with all her might. If you mess this up, I'll never forgive you, Takeshi. Even though I'm pretty sure you the one who's going to be doing the extractions and stuff, so, mm, it's kind of on her. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Promise you, we're all gonna get out of this, okay? Ugh! Way indeed. Scooby was crying. Her breathing uneven and shoulders shaking, Sugumi was wept freely on Takeshi's boobs. Takeshi embraced her thin body. Her thin booby. Her muffled cries continued to echo throughout the cold room. After waiting for Sugumi to compose herself, they carried out the procedure. Drawing blood from Sugumi's arm, they extracted the antibodies and gave shots to Takeshi, Yu, and the young Kurabaki. That will never change, that's always his name from now on. They weren't able to give Coco a shot because she was still in the pod undergoing treatment, and that's why she ends up dying. Is that what you're saying? And it would still be a while before they, uh, she could leave. They made another dose of antibodies for the co for when Coco was ready, and put it in the equipment storage container on the desk. Oh shit! I think this is news. If it isn't news, then I forgot. Almost an hour had passed since the shot, and. The antibodies didn't seem to be having any effect. Wait, they didn't seem to be having any effect. The three infected patients were lying worn out on their beds. Well, it takes time, right? Mitsugumi said something briefly to Takeshi and went back to Lemur. Oh, right, that was stupid of her. Why'd you do that? She shouldn't have done that, but she did. At least now we get to see that perspective. Yeah, perspective! Because from Takeshi's point of view, we didn't get to see that. I'm gonna go get Chami and bring him back, were the words she left with him. Oh, okay. So Chami wasn't with her at the moment? I did not realize that. That's why she went back. Okay. I forgive you, Sugumi. Uh, even though you didn't go back to that floor in Sora's pathway. What the fuck? Sketchy nodded weakly and closed his eyes. Suddenly, from his barely conscious state, a noise from the speaker reached Sketchy's ears. Come in! I'm here three pushes wrong! This is the emergency room! Okay, she rushed over to the terminal. Hello! IBF! Emergency rescue! Can you hear me? Yes! Voices spilled out of the other end of the line. It's vanished! I'm here! 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 I'm
This might actually be important. In the examination room, there are five, no, six. Is it because of me? Am I the sixth? Let me think about this. Um, Takeshi's one, Yu is two, Kurobaki is three, Koko is four, Tsugumi would be five. Is Chami six? I mean, Tsugumi's actually not there at the moment, but you know what I mean. Is it supposed to be Chami that he's referring to? Uh... Unless he's referring to Sora, I don't know. As a team is high there, blah, 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 blah. How long? Pass the can. Small deep exploration. Yep. The taxi. Can actually cut out suddenly. Wait a second! Yes, she hit the call button repeatedly. There was no answer. Can't open up communications from this side. Yes, she began to pour through the manual on the side of the communication terminal. Here it is. Uh, he used the control panel, call information. Boom! Suddenly a low metallic crashing sound reverberated throughout the installation. A sound seemed to come from above. An alarm sounded from the terminal and the screen changed. Warning! Lemur Hell Breach! Flooding! Lemur! It's bad! Tsugumi, it's Sora! Is he gonna save both of them in this one? I guess she ran out into the corridor. It was only slight, but the floor was trembling. <coughs> ah! He suddenly seemed to get dizzy and lost his balance, crashing into a wall. Holding his fingers in his to his temples, Geshi shook his head to clear it. <laughs> one thought I just had, which I'm pretty sure isn't true, but it popped in my mind. What if it was like, oh, you're using Jamie's point of view? No, I don't think so, but uh, it just popped into my head, so I thought I'd bring it up. Sorry, devil. You gotta get. Still gotta go. Another thing that popped in my head is if Takeshi is somehow used father and he dies right here, right now in this facility, this would be 17 years ago, and would explain why she said 15 years, 17 years ago in this timeline. Because in this timeline, she didn't say her parents died 34 and 15 years ago. She said 17 and 15. That could have been a typo, but if it wasn't, I don't know. Just there. There you go. I have to go! Staring while we ran, Takeshi took off. His legs moved as we got... <laughs> that was his uh, uh, Deeper. Deeper. He ran from the left of the compression chamber. Catch hit the near combat violently. Sora! Sora! I need a hero! Going up to the end of the night! And he's gotta be strong and he's gotta be something! He's gotta skip through the bullshit! Kaboom! He just kicked the door open, because I skipped that. There was a horrible noise as though all the air inside exploded. You see, this this actually bugged me a little bit. In Sugumi's pathway, he had the cure virus, so it can maybe explain how he was okay with uh, all the the change in atmosphere from 1 to 12 or whatever. 12 to, 12 to 6? I don't know. But, um... In the Sora pathway, as far as we know, he doesn't have that. So the fact that he's still okay with it, it just bugs me a little bit. I'm like, why are you still okay with it? It's bullshit. And she's body was thrown from the room along with the high-pressure gas that had been built up inside. Tossed like a piece of confetti, sliding and rolling along the floor, only to stop when he crashed into a wall. Yarg! 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 And she twisted in agony. He filled his four limbs as... Uh, flailed his four limbs as though he were a mad gone, mad gone, insane. Man gone. Mad gone man. Blah. 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 It's unnatural, comported position in the floor to catch began vomiting. Yes! Yes! Are you Dajobu? Still alive? Did she crawl weakly over the floor? He crawled and stood, rah, rah, repeating the process, finally made it to the door. Don't you stop me here, no matter what you say, I'm going! Alright, it seems you made up your mind. Made up your mind. 
レミューの状態を監視して PDA に転送します。I'll stay here at Hemo to keep track of the situation at Lima and send updates to your PDA. Oh man, that PDA. We never really、uh, saw that PDA much in,、um, in Shonen's pathway, so that's probably why. Because、uh, they're different times? I don't know, time periods? Dude, I can just start the blah blah blah. Is he actually going to get the disc while he's on his way, though?、Um, since they're combining the timelines, it seems. Running up the stairs, he looked down to the PDA. Life reading in the infirmary. The map showed the surrounding corridors were flooded and that there was no way to access the area. Okay. Arriving at Dwight's dock, he threw himself into the water. In order to reach the corridor, came to the infirmary, Takeshi dove. At this point, there was no way to exit without swimming. Okay. Yeah, she turned the PDA backlight on. It shed a weak light on the area before him. Maybe he realized that there wasn't any point, but Takeshi turned off the light and kept swimming until darkness. He swam and kept swimming. Takeshi propelled himself forward as though possessed. No sign of fear or unease in the way that he moved. He fiercely tore at the wall of water surrounding him, progressing steadily forward. He was being reckless, perhaps even acting insane, but he was willing to sacrifice it all for what he was convinced he had to do! And neither the water nor the intense pressure could defeat、uh, the power of his faith and courage and that conviction!、Uh, my completely unconvicted conviction! He kept swimming and on, on and on strongly, purposefully. Heading for the light! No! Look away from the light! It's not your time yet, Takeshi! It's not your time yet, Takeshi! Splash! Takeshi surrounded in the air greatly as he p r o b a b l y Ignoring the bubbly lungs, he quickly climbed up. Tsugumi! Tsugumi! <laughs> First time seeing a wet Takeshi, I think. At least a wet original Takeshi. Did we ever see wet、uh, older Kurobaki? I'm not sure. Tsugumi! She was in the corner of the room, hugging her knees to herself.、Uh, at her feet was the slightly wet furry figure of Chami. Takeshi! Indeed. Why? What? How? When? Tsugumi opened up her eyes wide. What are you surprised about, Tsugumi? Came back right now! I came back for you!、Mm-hmm. That was a bit late, but. I guess she scratched his nose. What are you doing here? Do you want to die? Listen. I guess he was laughing as he spoke. He came back for something I forgot. Ah,、uh, yeah, that's it. You forgot? Picking up Chevy in both hands, she stood up slowly. Left it here, silly me. I remember this. Yeah, my irreplaceable. More important to me than anything else. Friend. Just a friend? You've already d i d this sex, and you call that a friend? How? How'd you get here? She looked at Takeshi as if、uh, she still couldn't believe he was really there. I have a good swimmer. I remember this as well. Down and back once. Kicked off the wall, yep. Same shit. This is. <laughs> 51. 51. meters, yep. She answered her expression beginning to break down. <laughs> Still haven't gotten enough abuse from you yet. I want to hear from you guys to say from here on out. So, I came for you, Sugumi. Takashi! 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 You know, they make the, they make the relationship so, say, seem so much more romantic in this pathway. Like, when I played as Takeshi, there were so many bits where she was still being a complete bitch. And, like, they cut out all those moments in this perfect pathway thing going on. Just to try, what, try to make Sugumi look better than she is? Because you can't deny she's still kind of a bitch. Even though the pathway is trying its best to deny it, she's still kind of a bitch. They both ran toward each other. Reaching out their hands to one another, they came together. In the center of the infirmary, they hugged each other close, embracing firmly. Riding on Sugumi's shoulders with Chami, c h 
Jammy snorted and looked at the two. Yeah. Having rescued Scooby from the infirmary, Keshi made it safely back to Hamlet. Sora was waiting for them back in the room. Did you get the disc that, use, that use, is used to copy? Keshi Sugumi! I highly doubt that you would bring up that Sora's real form is in Himmel and then not act on it. Prepare the chamber for you. Get inside quickly. What's the rush, Sora? Well, that's Keshi was out of breath. He waved the flustered Sora off with his hands. You have to hurry! All right. Okay. Yeah, he is gonna bring it up. Relax. Still got one more thing I've forgotten. Forgotten? What? This. Guess she pointed to him was console. Following words are written on the monitor. Oh right. Oh, mm, there we go. Uh, again, what is this? Will? Will come? What is that? Will come? That's some German thing, right? Will come enter? Limich login ty. To guess she me? LMRSDS 4913A Sora Konigazaki. Uh, Act 10 Kopi Word Verva Vava. <laughs> Suddenly there was an intense flash of light, and from the blinding flood of light, a voice could be heard. I was able to finish the transfer just in time. Uh, yeah, this part was always weird to me. The transfer, I don't even know what she's talking about. T.Y. Last password and name T.Y. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Does she mean with the password that she normally inputs and using that name, she managed to log into the thing? I don't know. Tanaka Yoichi. Ooh. That's interesting. Tanaka Yoichi. Or Takeshi Yagami. That's a way to play with somebody. Interesting. They're gonna have to bring that up again later, cause that's that is definitely not a coincidence. They did that on purpose. Ty bo both times. Okay. Where is this? I wondered. Uh huh. Yeah. Indeed. Was I inside someone? I couldn't see anything. All I could hear was a voice coming from somewhere. A warm voice. A murmur, murmuring filled with peace. It was in Himmel along with Sora's memory. Oh! The thing you needed to figure out the name and password? It's on that terabyte disk. What's on that terabyte disk? I'm confused. Thank you, Dad. Oh. Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, this wasn't fully explained last time, so let's try to take this in. The last password and name, T.Y. Tanaka Yoichi. Okay, um, it was in Himmel, along with Sora's memory. It's on that terabyte disk. Okay, so she extracted it? So in Himmel, along with Sora's memory, she extracted the password and name and put that into the computer in the security office? And was able to log in? And do what? The full story has not been explained yet. The voice cut out with a crackle. Okay. The light faded. Color gradually returned to Keshi's field of vision. When Color finally returned, Keshi opened his mouth. Uh, uh, keep it simple. And letting out a stra strange shout, Keshi pounded the enter key on the console. What about the terabyte disk? Didn't you have to go to the security office and and then you went to the uh, control room and got a terabyte disk from the control room and you needed that disk? I feel like something is not being explained properly, but okay. Round flat water shot out of the disk drive. Wafer. Water. But wasn't that in the control room and you had to get it from the control room and bring it here? I feel like the step is being skipped, and I do not know why the step is being skipped, but okay. It's a simple terabyte disk made out of uh, polycarbonate. And so this has Sora's memories, and I, I, don't, I don't understand. The username and password for the security room thing that she kept trying to get into? Is that what? I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't fully understand, but okay. 
こいつはいただいていくから。Okay, I'm taking this with me. Guess you've been able to hear Yu's voice? Uh, maybe? Wait, why is he taking that? I, I, I don't know. He stuffed the disc in his pocket. Okay. Hi. Yes. Taking a side glance at the dumbfounded Sora, Takeshi went along with Sugumi to the other side of the glass. Seems like he's also got some Esper powers going on, because he's being smarter than he was in his previous pathway, so he's doing them both at once, and it's interesting. Into IBF's compression chamber. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that thing with you still doesn't make full sense, and I hope they explain it more. <sighs> ha, indeed. Tsugumi slumped over in the chair, breathing with uh, her whole body. <sighs> yeah. I guess she breathed deeply and looked out of the window to the control room on the other side of the window. The door to the chamber sealed and compression started. Sora. Sora. Shibashi no wakare kana. Guess this means goodbye for a while. Sora was standing still on the other side of the chamber. Smiling softly, she shook her head left to right. Oh, this explains something else, actually. Um, Takeshi needs to take this disc up so that they, she can keep her memory, right? But, um, that's different than how it is in Shonen's pathway. In Shonen's pathway, he ends up escaping just with you, leaves Sora behind, gets to the surface, and then you, and then Sora's there, she's just fine, and she has all her memories intact. That's, uh, and that's, that, that, you'd think that'd be a bit weird, but it makes sense now that we know that they're different time periods. Sora's main body is being kept somewhere else in the future timeline. In the future pa in the future, not timeline, same timeline, in the future course of events, her bot, her main mind or whatever, her memories are being stored somewhere else as they are in the past, so that makes sense now, I think. Maybe. No, this isn't goodbye. I don't say goodbye. Yeah. Me neither. I guess you're to smile. I don't exist. Aww. And yet I am everywhere. There will be a time we meet again, I'm sure of it. Assuming he lives. So please. Don't ask me anything now. Okay. Okay. I understand now. I don't know how, but I understand now. I think that's what he's trying to say? Sora ga koko ni shika inakute. Demo. Doko ni demo iru ってことだ The only place to find you is here. Yeah, I can find you anywhere. Hi. Yes. Na ato, sora kara. Oh, and. Botan o tatak toki no kake goe wa. Pochit to nada. Oboete o kyo ni. When you hit a button, don't forget to say keep it simple. Remember that. Did he still give her the, uh, professor lessons in this pathway? I don't think he did. We didn't see them, anyways. Eh. Yeah. I'll remember. She's not calling him professor, so I don't think so. Oh! She does say professor, okay. That's a promise. Mine and yours. Professor. Okay. So she must have gotten some of the lessons, but not so many that she becomes a super jealous bitch. I guess. Thank you. The RSD image started to warp and break up. A fog enveloped Sora from behind. Sora's image changed to a rainbow hue. And then even the rainbow started to fade. Sora's form disappeared. Takeshi watched it all happen and nodded as though he was, uh, he had confirmed something. Compression complete. Takeshi and Tsugumi loaded into the elevator head back to the research facility. It's quiet. Ah, so dana. Yeah, you're right. The flooding should have been fairly advanced in the area above them. It was hard to know if any of the sections had collapsed yet. But for the moment, everything was normal at IBF. On the surface of the pool, there was not even a ripple. Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Time, we're past scheduled time. What schedule? There's a rescue team on their way. Rescue? Yeah, they called themselves the Maritime Defense Force, I think. He was able to open up the communication line, so we got a hold of Intel and all. And taking and talking this way, they went their way to the examination room. 
Open the door, went inside. Ah. Uh, uh. They aren't here, nobody's here. Sumi raised her voice. But there was nobody in the room to respond. Keshi checked each of the capsule pods. But they were all empty, including Coco's? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. You no shonen mo Coco mo ano samo inai. You, Shonen, Coco, even the old guy. The old Takeshi question mark? They're all gone. Yeah, Tanaka Yoichi versus Takeshi Yagami. There's definitely importance there, and I'm not sure what the importance is, but it's gotta be important. They wouldn't do that unless it was on purpose. Where did they go? I'm sure the rescue team found them. Just then, a recognizable voice came over the speaker. This is Inzel Null Control, please respond. Yeah, she jumped over to the terminal and hit the talk button. This is the examination room. そこにいてく。先ほど派遣した特急隊から到着連絡が入ったとき。すまない。少し留守にしてたんだ。診療室に残っていた要救助者3名はすでに。みんなは無事なのか今の段階では何とも言えない。ことは1分1秒を争う。